Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Show Study Studio. So today we'll be talking about study tips and what can actually make you remember little better and faster. Okay, uh, so without any further discussion, mm -mm one minute so i request all of you to subscribe to the channel whoever uh, is willing to watch this video till the end and also thanks for every viewer who is supporting me thank you so much let's get started so here we actually uh, everybody actually go through this incident that uh, while you're writing exam you're unable to recall uh, that one line which you have to write then and your pen is stuck you remember the whole paper but you're unable to recall that one line the line looks literally blood when you try to visualize so uh, this is uh, the tip that actually helps that kind of situations so what you're going to do is after you read an answer while you're reading only after you read an answer close your eyes and try and say the answer then and not only that once try and glance the whole paper from top to bottom then close your eyes and visualize the whole paper top to bottom how does it look so that can actually help you to not to get stuck in the examinations by the way if there is any background noise i'm really sorry for that there is a construction going on here i don't know how many years they'll construct one building so yeah uh, let's get to the second tip power of imagination i think we all know about it right not only just visualizing the paper but also we have to imagine what we have to imagine imagine that if you are reading a topic a particular topic then try and imagine that you are the junior scientist and you are the one who researched the topic and published it into the market then how we are going to say it with whole confidence right that it is your topic and you'll own it so in that way only if you're reading any kind of answer try to own the answer as if it is your research own research copy and not only that if you're uh, while you're telling the answer Try to tell it out uh, instead of revising inside. Tell it out, imagining that you are standing in front of a senior scientist or any kind of um, auditorium where uh, there are all seniors sitting in front of you and you are the one who is giving the speech. So this will actually boost a lot of confidence and you are able to tell faster only when you have that confidence or grip on the subject that you have learned. So try to imagine and uh, implement this you will it will definitely work and you will definitely uh, give your exams very well do it because this really worked worked for me i'm sorry a little difficult now what does it mean like abhi to mat you're not even getting the answer if you make it more difficult how can you read completely this is your exact feeling right but let me tell you one thing if you are literally unable to concentrate or you're getting distracted this is the best tip that you can actually implement because it's easy for you or else you're not in a mood to actually um, read so that's the reason why you're getting distracted or you're unable to remember things faster if it's if a focus is flowing then nothing can stop you like you will remember everything in just a second right so to attain that kind of focus where you can remember very well this tip really works and how to do that simple make it fun and little difficult twist your tongue or touch it above like that and then try and tell whatever answer you're reading i have a see you the words doesn't rule out right so now what i said is i'm trying to say so you are unable to understand it but after a while your tongue start paining and you're unable to speak anymore like that so once you release your tongue to the normal position you start speaking so fluently and you you will be able to say the answer with a flow you will achieve that flow it is fun and you will also feel interesting and your focus will come back if you're too distracted and you're not in a mood to read so this will really help now there is a purpose of uh, each and every subject how it is actually useful in our day to day life right so try and understand the concept god even can't help you if 
you can't understand the content and want to write your exams no that doesn't work in that way try to interlink every concept and try to um, think how can actually this will be helpful in your day to day life or in a daily routine so this will actually help you to understand better and also you can give some unique ideas to yourself uh, while writing the exams you can say that this concept can be helpful in your life so if you mention that kind of points in the, your exam paper even examiner will really get excited to correct your paper because everyone will be writing the same board kind of uh, answers like from top to bottom it's the same how it is given in your workbooks or textbooks so if you make your answers a little bit interesting that will be a plus point for you so that's all for today guys i hope you love to watch this video till the end and don't forget to comment down